Today I'd like to share a little bit of information about our unique Silver Plus electrode technology and how it can help your company reduce operating costs. Silver Plus electrodes typically provide twice the electrode and nozzle life compared to all copper electrodes. This video will highlight the differences in the way silver and copper electrodes wear. When plasma cutting with a copper electrode, a layer of hafnium oxide forms on the walls of the electrode as the hafnium wears. It acts as a heat shield protecting the copper from the plasma arc. When the hafnium wears to approximately one millimeter, most of the hafnium oxide has been removed from the electrode walls, exposing the copper to the heat of the plasma arc. The heat generated by the arc melts the copper, and if enough copper melts, catastrophic failure of the electrode and nozzle can result. With silver electrodes, a layer of silver oxide forms on the walls of the electrode as the hafnium wears. Unlike hafnium oxide, silver oxide works to remove heat from the electrode, preventing overheating and premature failure. Additionally, hafnium wets the silver much more effectively than it wets copper, providing a stronger physical bond between the hafnium and the electrode body. While a copper electrode is fully worn at one millimeter, a silver electrode can cut until the hafnium is worn to two millimeters while still maintaining good cut quality. If your system has a torch height controller that uses arc voltage to maintain the torch to work distance, the arc voltage must be changed to achieve maximum life and cut quality from a silver plus electrode. As a silver electrode wears, the set arc voltage will cause the torch to move closer to the plate. When this happens, the system is no longer cutting in the optimal part of the plasma arc, and you'll begin to see greater angularity in your cuts. By increasing the arc voltage by 5 volts, you can continue cutting with the same silver electrode and attain acceptable cut quality. At the end of life of a copper electrode, pictured here, copper and hafnium are expelled from the electrode and deposited on the inside wall of the nozzle. When this happens, the plasma arc may jump from the plate to this material inside the nozzle, cutting away the nozzle and often the shield. In silver electrodes, pictured here, the stronger bond between silver and hafnium and better thermal conductivity of silver results in less material deposited on the inside nozzle wall, extending the nozzle life. So what does all this mean for your operation? Typically, companies that use Silver Plus electrodes experience double the life of electrodes and nozzles, which reduces the cost of their cutting operation. The graphs pictured here show the improved life of Silver Plus electrodes over standard hypertherm copper electrodes.